yo 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 what's happening um it's been a minute uh on thanksgiving eve right now and i decided to start messing with the fox body and um pretty much i decided man i need to start seeing some progress done on this thing so um what i want to do is at least get the passenger header on header on with the um turbo sitting on it so i can have it clocked and uh, plug all these lines in and pretty much at least start seeing some progress being done on this car um and i figured i'm like damn i just started doing shit didn't even pick up the camera because sometimes you just want to be in that go mode um so i'm gonna show you real quick i had to do some modification because and there's nothing wrong with the turbo kit it's just my fox body and the fact that because it was in a accident or two from previous owners not myself the chassis isn't straight like if i was to show you in the cabin the shifter is not even in the middle of where the hole is so the chassis in the body where the motor everything is like shifted so because of that i don't know if you can see right there i'm gonna try to zoom in for y'all um i had to cut a piece off on each end pretty much make an l shape you can see it right there and then i also had to cut off there's like a little piece right there i had to cut off right so i'll go ahead and try to show you to show you a better point of right there i had to cut it off because it kept hitting up against it um ac lines are fine this is going to end up having to go under here and then yes i know i would have to heat wrap um because i do want to keep ac in this car but and then for the most part it's been working so i got the gasket on there and pretty much got the first bolt right there and the last bolt back there completely tightened down it is a huge bitch you got to use uh, i got a set of open you know crescent wrenches or open end wrenches whatever um these bolts is either an 11 mm, uh, 11 millimeter or 7 16 whichever one you want to use go at it i was pretty much using the 7 16 um and i used a really small one right here to definitely get back there tighten that down and i use the long one for the front right here because you'll pretty much have to squeeze um for me i don't know if this is going to be for anybody else because of my situation in my car and how everything is shifted so i kind of you know but this is i'm just saying what i what i did you know if you plan on if you have a fox body you plan on throwing this turbo kit on you know if you have to do this hey this is what i did if your car hasn't been in no accidents, then I'm jealous. Good for you. Um, I'd give you a cookie, just like your grandma. Um, use a long one, put in between the fuel lines, and boom. So, I've been pretty much trying to just bang this out. I'm going to tighten the rest of these bolts up and uh, see where we go from there. One long, angry line later. And I'm back. So, I saved y'all about a good, I'd say maybe hour of me struggling between trying to slowly get these header bolts all tight with just that no there's no ratchets in there you know where i could just none of that none of that then i uh, had to fight with um made sure i uh, well the clocking was easy make sure you clocked it so that it's you know vertical the uh oil coming in line and the drain is completely vertical um in terms of clocking this side i uh, won't be worried about doing that until we get the uh, uh intercooler mounted up and i could start doing um the cold side piping to get that going but uh then had a good time fighting getting the uh nut and bolts for the uh turbo mounted up that was a good uh that was a good fight i saved y'all a lot of headache y'all would have liked it but not me and, uh, 
it matters to me. See, I just, I'm not, I want to run AC, but I'm not liking the way that line is looking. Uh, I want to keep the AC, but the way that line is, I'm not liking it. Oh, man. If only it could be like a way where the condenser line can like run along here and no nah, but I wouldn't really want it going across now would I I don't know like just run across here and then just right there I don't know if there's a way to make that happen maybe or run a custom line I don't know but I'm really not liking how this is sitting like and this right here just looks ugly. So it's like, you know, maybe get a longer hose and like really bend this shit down, but then it's really hitting the hot side of the turbo. I don't know, but got the lines in nice and tight. This is the oil coming in. I got the clamp on the um, drain hose. So, yep. That's how, that's how we sit in. And then we even got the, the nice tap in there. So, that's how we looking. We're looking pretty good. I wish I could pick up the, the header. It's too dark in there. But, oh, oh. but yeah, that was fun. I was able to, you know, knock this out pretty quick. Like I said, I just wanted to start seeing progress instead of seeing a completely empty, you know, bay. I already took out the alternator because I'm going to be upgrading that soon. But I'm like, man, I need to start seeing like as if I'm doing progress in this car. So at least I just, you know, and I got the gaskets in there too. So everything is tightened down. Uh, gaskets are in there in terms of torquing anything down. There's no way to torque none of these bolts down. There, there's literally no way um, with this kit, with the way that they all, uh, there's like no space between where the header is right there next to the two bolts. Like it's such a tight space. There's just no way of fitting a socket in there with the with a torque wrench, none of that shit. So that's out, that's beyond out the question. So, but yeah, man. It looks good now. I'm gonna leave it like this. This is this is a hundred percent like this isn't a mock-up. This side is like one hundred percent on there. This shit is not coming off. Like the only thing that needs to get done is the cold side to get mocked up and then make sure to run a boost controller and then the vacuum lines and whatever and then get the uh O2, but that's probably gonna be for um why be engaged or whatever just run a stock o2 but for now this is 100 percent on there it is staying on there um and if i have to gotta put the alternator on and do whatever i'm just gonna have to learn to work around it because you know it's gonna be the future setup anyway so but yeah Whew. but happy thanksgiving everybody I'm pretty sure by the time you see this video, it's going to be um, probably after Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving. But catch you on the next one.